Hi, this is Gary from the P3 Lab. I'm going to do a quick demo on using Ghost in our environment. Um, we already have our Bright P CD or USB drive booted up here. We're just going to go to Ghost Programs and select Ghost. Although it says version 8, we just haven't updated our menu. It is usually the current version, which is currently version 11. Um, with the switches that are available, we would only use the minus FDSP when we're having a problem with the drive letters shifting. Uh, it was a problem we saw with our Windows 2000 installs, but we don't see it anymore with just a C drive and a J drive. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to select Ghost 32 and go through the process of creating a ghost image, which is going to the local menu, going to disk, selecting to image, selecting your source drive, and then selecting your destination, which could be a network drive or a local RAID drive type in the file name. I'm just selecting a file that I already had there which was test. It exists so I'm going to say yes, overwrite it and normally we select high compression to make this file as small as possible. Confirms once more. Do you want to create the file? Select yes and it goes. Now I'm going to just demonstrate how do you create restore the image by going to the local menu, selecting disk, selecting from image, and selecting the source where your image is, which is down here. Uh, you select the destination where you want to put the drive. Usually it's the first drive, but a lot of the times you need to confirm if all three drives are the same. You want to make sure you put it in the right place, in the right position, and you select OK, which I'm actually not going to do right now because I don't over want to overrate my current operating system. If you have any comments, please post them below in the comment section, and I will update or answer any questions that you have. Thank you.